Hi, my name is Wampernant, and today we're going to be playing some Orcs Must Die 2, Part 4, of our trapless experiment with the Sorceress. Today's level is The Crossing. This is a little bit of a fun level, guys, as you can see from the art for the level. There is a high path and a low path. Now, there is a mine track, or a uh, train track here that has a mine cart on it, and we're just going to leave it on the bottom. Uh, just because I like it there, and it, to me, it feels like it's the best place there where it's, where it's going to do the most for us by keeping it there on that low path, as there are some kobold runners this time around. And as we all know, kobold runners are not any fun. They're very quick, and if we're otherwise occupied on the top path, we're not going to have as much time to come down and kill them. So they tend to run on the track or right near it, so we're going to limit our interaction with them by leaving that minecart running down there. So, uh, first wave was some archers some, and some normal orcs. Uh, wave 2 is going to be pretty much the exact same thing, only uh, upstairs instead of downstairs. And you're going to see a lot of this in this particular level and eventually in other levels. There is a lot of mirroring slash repetition in this game. So some waves are just going to be the exact same uh, units coming from downstairs when they uh, come upstairs, when it swaps over to the rifts, until at uh, such a point there's enemies coming from both rifts at the same time. So wave three... We've got a little bit going on here. Uh, just normal orcs to begin with. I'm going to go ahead and make quick work of them. And let's go ahead and get rid of the second wave of normal orcs. So upstairs, first wave is normal orcs. Let's let them turn back around here. Second wave coming out, normal orcs, just like we killed on the bottom floor. So see, we got that uh, Kobold Runner there. A lot easier to dispatch those as the Sorcerers with our Wand, as we can just spam that with complete 100% accuracy. All right, Earth Elemental. Now, you probably noticed in the tunnels when we fought those that when you kill the big one, it splits into two small ones known as Earthlings. It always feels a little bit odd saying Earthlings. Uh, I generally just try to use the generic term for them as elementalines. As in the fire and water expansion, uh, you actually are introduced to fire and water elementals and their perspective upgrades and downgrades. So, you see we've got a lot of the same stuff happening here. Upstairs we had the exact same loadout for enemies and then we have downstairs and of course the last part of that is going to be archers and we don't like getting hit by archer stray arrows so if we can help it we're going to hang back and kill them whenever possible the chain lightning on our lightning ring makes very quick and easy work of archers so let's see coming upstairs Let's go ahead and use the secondary on our ice ammo. The first time we've actually used this item, uh, secondary obviously has a small AOE frost, freezes everything, and uh, makes them take more damage. Iced units take more damage, and it is a beautiful mechanic. We'll be using that on ogres uh, when we need to. Look at that, 100% accuracy on that wand is so ridiculous. See me floating here. I have completed the first run of the game as the sorceress. So she gets a gliding. Uh, it's referred to as Featherfall, but it's, you know, a little sparkling purple cloud that lets us glide. The War Mage, I think it's the better end of the deal. He gets a double jump. And we're just going through here and having a lot of fun. Gotta wait for more of these things to spawn. 
So we got some medium Oryx. Two, uh, two charges of our lightning ring to take them out. Let's go ahead and use the zoom function on our crossbow. There we go, headshot. All right, gonna head downstairs. Looks like upstairs is down for now. Gonna go ahead and get rid of that elemental. The small elementals take two charges of our um, lightning ring as well. Just throwing out that lightning to chain off of him, not even really to do the damage, just to kill the things behind him. All right, last wave, seven of seven. It's a lot of mirroring, a lot of mirroring, and it's only going to get more and more commonplace, especially when we have two rifts. A lot of patterns in this game. Now that is the one advantage I do have playing through my second time in the Trapless Experiment. I've already gone through these levels as the War Mage, and so I have a pretty good grasp of what's coming, so these one-shot videos are not that hard for me to do. We haven't had any mistakes yet. Just been playing, having a lot of fun. Alright, let's go ahead and break them down. And, oh, I was kind of hoping that there'd be more on the bottom. Wanted to turn one of them into a chicken. It's sad dancing alone. But there we have it, the crossing. Untouchable and trapless. So guys, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you want to subscribe to my channel, feel free. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Until next time, my name is Womp Rat, and I'm signing out.